Good morning, friends. I am delighted to share with you for a few minutes a little more clarity. You okay here? All right. On how to ensure that in each magical moment we remain on the path of ascension rather than repeating 3D schoolhouse. You'll recall that my previous suggestion is we always remember to activate our higher self-conference room, allowing our higher self to envelop our body, <clears throat> blessing all life within, <clears throat> and asking for higher self-intuition in every magical moment to be sure that we respond in love rather than react in fear or out of past programming to the characters in our movie, up-leveling all to an experience of heaven on earth. Now, how do we distinguish the voice of intuition within from other voices, perhaps from the past, programs, or beliefs that were created early in life about based on the illusion of separation rather than the reality of unity. Well, there are a few guidelines. First of all, higher self-intuition is nothing like conscience. Having a guilty conscience is an expression of fear or separation. The higher self makes no judgment. It accepts all that happens as good and only asks that you learn the lesson from what happens and rise to a higher level of creating well-being for yourself and all other life as a result of each precious experience. So the higher self will never come from the point of view of relieving guilt. The higher self would simply suggest release the past with love and acceptance. Receive the jewel of wisdom that comes from that experience and let it go. Now the higher self is also extremely patient. It will never give you a feeling of urgency, or you must do this, you must do this now, or something terrible will happen. That's not the higher self. That's some past program. Higher self is very patient. It can allow things to unfold according to the highest good at the perfect moment. Higher self makes no judgments of others. If you look at others, or yourself for that matter, with eyes of judgment, criticizing yourself or others, that's a past program. Higher self sees the good in all, disregards any appearance to the contrary as an illusion, because the higher self knows that the essence of all, including yourself, is none other than the Supreme Being in individual and unique expression. The higher self is always in a state of joy. It will never motivate you out of a feeling of despondency or despair or sadness. Those are all fear-based programs from the past to be released with love are retaining lessons learned. So the key, my friend, 
to listening to higher self intuition is to ask yourself, is this guidance that I'm hearing, is it loving? Is it loving for me and for all concerned? Does it, does it ask me to do something that's going to benefit me at the expense of other life forms on Earth? Or all, the, all li other life? Higher self is always win-win, not win-lose or lose-win. It doesn't, if the voice asks you to sacrifice yourself for someone else, or to sacrifice someone else for yourself, this is a past program based on separation. Higher self wants the highest and best for all, perfect balance, self and other self. Yes. So the baseline is, intuition is always loving. Pure, unconditional love for self and for other self. Any other voice, any other motive is not the higher self intuition. Just ask that that energy be released with love and you retain the lesson learned. Thank you, friends, for being part of my Lightworker project. You're a great blessing to all life on Earth. I love you all.